Hi friends and welcome back to another video. I am so excited about today because I am going to show you how to make this beautiful spring wreath. I'm also going to be adding some fresh herbs to my window and I placed them in these beautiful terracotta little planters and I painted them and made them look all rustic and I'm gonna share with you how I did that. I'm also going to be adding some lavender around here in my kitchen and just making everything all nice and fresh and beautiful for spring. So if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back for another video. So let's just go ahead and get right into today's video and I hope you guys all enjoy. So today I'm going to be refreshing my kitchen with some spring decor and I am so excited about it. It's looking kind of blah and plain and I cannot wait to add some pops of color in here and just some fresh florals and just something that makes me feel like spring is coming. So I'm just giving you a little bit of an overview of what I got going on right now. And on days like this, I don't wanna think about cleaning and right now my floor needs to be cleaned. And I want to tell you a little bit about a robotic vacuum and mop in one and I am loving it and I feel like it's really freed up a lot of my time so I don't have to worry about my floors. Okay, so this is the vacuum that I was talking about and I am so in love with it. It is a vacuum and a mop combo and it is your ultimate cleaning companion. I have named mine Nancy. This is a state of the art robot vacuum that is designed to make cleaning your home a breeze, allowing you to relax and enjoy your free time instead of worrying about vacuuming. It is equipped with advanced navigation technology. The Obode A8 Plus maps your home and creates a virtual floor plan, allowing it to clean your floors efficiently and effectively. Its powerful suction and long battery life ensure that your floors are spotless and clean in no time. And with multiple cleaning modes, you can customize the cleaning process to suit your specific needs. But that's not all, the Obode A8 8 Plus also features voice control and smart app integration, allowing you to control it from anywhere at any time. You can schedule cleaning times, adjust the suction power, and even set no-go zones using the app. And with compatibility with both Alexa and Google Assistant, you can control your robot vacuum using your voice. The Obode A8 Plus is not only smart, but it's designed to be user-friendly. It's sleek and modern design combined with its compact size means that it can fit in tight spaces and navigate around obstacles with ease. And with its easy to clean dustbin and washable filter, maintenance is a breeze. I love that this vacuum also has a 3D obstacle avoidance feature, so it automatically lifts the mop up when encountering a carpet and it also has a deep cleaning feature for pressurized mopping as well. Order yours today and experience the future of home cleaning. Click the link located right down in my description box. When I think of spring, I think of greenery and the blooming flowers and fresh herbs sitting in the window. And I've been really wanting to do this for a while. So I went over to my local Home Depot and found some of my favorite herbs that I love to cook with more often than not. And I thought I would place them in really pretty containers. So I decided to go with three of my favorites. I picked up a lemon thyme, a peppermint, and some Italian oregano. So my original plan was just to use some plain terracotta pots and place them in the pots and put them in the window. But once I got home, I really wanted to dress these up just a little bit. So I found this craft paint up in my craft room. It is called Wicker White and I do believe that I found this at Hobby Lobby probably a year or two ago. So I didn't have to go out and buy this paint. I already had it. And then I just did a very, very light coat over the terracotta pot and then I took a dry paper towel and just buffed it away. I really wanted to give it a very worn and weathered look. So once I was done, they were pretty much dry. So I took a wet paper towel 
and I kind of went over the edges and where they would be worn just a little bit more and just kind of distressed them. If this is the very first time you are visiting my channel, I just want to quickly say thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I truly appreciate you. And if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much as well. I just wanted to say that and give you all a quick thank you for watching today. So right now I'm just distressing the pots just a little bit more and like I said earlier I am taking a wet paper towel at this point and just kind of going over those edges and places where there would be more of a worn look than others and I love how these turned out. They look a little old and worn and I just really really love it. I think they look so cute. If you wanted to add just a little bit more to these pots, I think some really pretty font with the names of the herbs um, stenciled on the front of these pots would look really pretty as well. You could also add some florals or some painted roses or something. I don't know. I think there's so many possibilities. I love how they look just the way they are and they fit perfectly here in my kitchen. This spring wreath for my kitchen is so incredibly beautiful and it was super easy to make and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. First, I'm gonna share where I got my items and what they are. So this is some floral foam that I picked up at Walmart and I'm showing you the tag for a reference if you wanna go pick one up. And then I'm using a few things that I already had. I had this garland with some moss and then some lamb's ear. I didn't use the lamb's ear. But this is so pretty and it makes a really wonderful filler if you have some empty spaces in your wreath. You can just add little pieces of greenery and this lamb's ear is really soft and subtle looking. So I really love using it. Most of the florals that I will be using are florals that I have had from years past. I didn't go out and buy anything new except for those bright pink florals that you see right here. I picked those up at Walmart as well. Whenever I make any type of wreath or an arrangement, I always start with my greenery. So I'm gonna start by laying my greenery down onto this piece of floral foam and to keep it in place, you can either use some hot glue I'm going to use some larger staples and I'm just going to kind of stick those in there and they aren't going to hold the piece of garland on there really, really well. It's just kind of keeping it from moving around while I'm adding my florals because once you put your florals into this foam, it will also hold 
that greenery in there for you. So you really don't have to do this, but I'm doing this to just kind of keep it in place while I'm adding the rest of my florals. You will see me so normally if I have all different sized florals, like if I have larger florals and then some smaller florals, I like to add my larger pieces first and then add in the smaller ones like filler. But mine are pretty much all the same size, so I'm just gonna kind of start by colors first. And I wanted to start with all of the whites and I'm just kind of evenly spreading the white florals throughout. And then I'll go with the other color like the pinks and then last I'm going to be adding my lavender because they do look a little bit differently and um, I just wasn't sure how I was gonna place those until I had the rest of my florals in here but this turned out so 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 pretty I love this it was super easy and super quick and I cannot wait to make one for my front door To attach this to the hook that I plan on hanging on the wall, I'm just gonna use some floral wire, wrap that wire around my wreath, and then create a little bit of a loop, and it is that easy. You got me too. It doesn't have to cost you a fortune to make something really beautiful. And quite honestly, you could probably find most of these items very similar at the Dollar Tree. I know the white florals and possibly that lavender I did find at the Dollar Tree. And I've also seen those wreaths there before. They are a little bit smaller, but again, you can just use your creativity and make it work. And it does not have to cost a lot of money to do that. I wanted to add a little bit more of that lavender throughout my kitchen and I found this wreath in one of my bins. I believe I picked this up at Hobby Lobby last year or the year before or the year before, but I do know that it was a while ago and I thought it would just dress up this round cutting board that I have hanging on the wall. I also wanted to bring some of that lavender down here by my diffuser because lavender is related with relaxing things and I thought it would look really pretty. I have this milk glass vase and I thought it would look perfect with these little pieces of lavender. I don't remember where I purchased those. I can't remember if it was Joann's or Hobby Lobby, but it was one of those stores. And I just placed them in this container and set them right here by my diffuser. And I think it looks so pretty. Over here where I have a basket in this cutout area where my island is, I thought I would add just a little more of that lavender. Most of the time I add greenery in here, but I thought why not go with a little more of that lavender and I'm going to stop there with the lavender, <laughs> but I thought it would look really pretty. It just added that subtle pop of color in here as well and it brought that lavender over here to this side of the kitchen as well.
everything is looking so pretty and it definitely has some pops of spring in here. I will be adding a little bit more the closer we get to spring. I will bring out those bunnies soon and I cannot wait because I have some really adorable bunnies and all of that fun stuff. But I'm gonna add a little bit more of that lavender upstairs in my bedroom and I'm just gonna place a little bundle of it over here on my nightstand. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope it gave you some spring decorating ideas and I hope you all just really enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye.